All right, I didn't, listen, it's late. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, your boy woke up. Uh, I had to DVR literally everything just to rewatch some of the games. So I went into knowing, not knowing some of the scores. Um, and thankfully, I didn't check the scores because my goodness gracious, what the hell did I just watch at three o'clock in the morning? Uh, Arkansas embarrassed Texas today, or technically yesterday, but they embarrassed Texas. My goodness gracious. Um, Sam Pittman is doing one hell of a job. I love the hire when I love the hire of Sam Pittman when he was uh, hired. I think what last year, or maybe a couple seasons ago, uh, the players trust him. The fan base has belief in him, and Sam Pittman did a hell of a job last year with that with that squadron. So, um, listen, these guys came to play. The home crowd was was man was like it was like what sixty sixty thousand seventy thousand. But man, I've never I I haven't seen that Arkansas crowd been that damn loud and, and that excited for their team in years. I'm sorry. So, man, that Arkansas crowd came to, came to play. Arkansas's players came to, man, they definitely came to play. The physicality was there for them. These guys were extremely physical. They dictated the pace on the offensive line. They controlled the line of scrimmage for the most part. Um, Arkansas's running game was, was just, man, just old school football. Over 300 yards rushing is, no, is unbelievable. And matter of fact, again, that's no excuse for Texas. Texas man with all that damn talent, um, they should they they got absolutely decimated on that on that damn uh, line of scrimmage. Um, Texas has got to find their quarterback. Um, Steve Sarkeesian at this point, there's no excuse that you got that you can't find your quarterback at this particular time. Um, listen, I said Arkansas was going to beat Texas, but not like this. I didn't think it was going to be a dom. I did not think it was going to be domination. Uh, you know, fashion, but. Texas has a quarterback problem, um, whether if it's Hudson Card or if it's Casey Thompson, they need to figure out who their quarterback is going to be because um, moving down the moving down this line, even though the Big Twelve is not in a good spot right now, if these guys hope for Big Twelve championship aspirations, they need to play a lot better because Arkansas, even though I love Arkansas and they're a very underrated team, remember I said I made a video saying that Arkansas is going to be one of the dark horses for the SEC East. At the same time, Texas, you, these guys are better than that. These guys are way too damn talented. Um, these guys have way too many, have way too much damn, uh, you know, uh, these resources to be getting their ass kicked by Arkansas. So Texas, you got to get your crap together. Steve Sarkeesian's got to get his crap together. I know a lot of these Texas fans and most, most notably boosters are extremely upset with Steve Sarkeesian right now. I don't know if he's going to be putting the hot seat because again, it's too early for this stuff, but Texas fans are not going to be and in really good favor with C. Sarkeesian after this loss because there's a lot of work that needs to be done compared to what we saw last week when they played Louisiana. So overall wise, we'll see what happens, but congratulations to Arkansas. And that AM matchup is looking way, looking more and more and more exciting. Um, so I can't wait for that. But Texas, they got to get their stuff together. So anyway, guys, let me know how you guys feel about this game in the comment section, and I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Peace.